What up, B2B V Go? We got the beard coming to you live atop the man cave. And you may notice a little bit of extra pep in my step and a tune in my voice, song in my throat, because part two finally came today. And if, uh, if you've been following, you know we're on like hour 44 of my, the well, my first and the first birthday mystery box arriving. Uh, this one. Comes courtesy of Mr. Zach Tohill, all the way from Flat Rock, Illinois. And when this got here, many of you already know the picture, but I'll see if you can see it again. It says, uh, it says one of two. Did not open until both boxes have arrived. This arrived Saturday afternoon. I saw it Saturday around 7 o'clock. I have been waiting to open it ever since. Today, not more than like, I don't know, six, seven minutes ago, I went outside. And part two was finally here. This from Mr. In case you can't tell by the fantastic goat graphics, Mr. Selwyn Ruizarilla, coming all the way from Union City, California. And oh yeah, we're just gonna document this because I'm gonna start documenting all the awesome UPS stuff that goes on. You see that right there? I'm sorry, Selwyn. I think USPS damaged your box and possibly something inside of it, but it's okay because I'll still treat it and love it like it was my own. Well, I guess it is mine now. Ah! Alright, so... This is going to be an extra long video. Uh, like I said, we got, we got two firsts for this video. Not only is it the first mystery box, but it's also the first two-part mystery box. So, we're breaking all kinds of new ground here today. And... Since my OCD would go crazy if I opened up number two first, let's start with Mr. Toehills here. And, uh, and a big shout out to, to Zach and Selwyn and all you guys on the page that have enjoyed my videos and asked for more because, I mean, even like three or four years ago, this never would have been possible, speaking in public, whether it's on a camera or actually in front of people, was next to impossible for me. But this group and the friends and the people and everything is just... The sport's been overwhelming, and it's awesome, because I feel like I'm coming into my own thanks to you guys, and hopefully I'm doing the same for you. I want to... I'd like to think that... I don't know, that we all help each other. It's it's a nice feeling. And of course we've got a note from Zach here. And we'll go ahead and just read this out loud. Because there could be funny stuff in here. And there could be naughty stuff in here. We'll see what happens. Hello! Double exclamation point. Welcome to the first, or I think it's the first, Vigo Mystery Box Birthday Edition. It's the first. First things first, happy birthday. Thank you, Zach. I have noticed your game room is coming along nicely and farther than I've seen it. Keep it up. It looks great. Last time I gave you a mystery box, we were suited up and looking cool. We'll figure what better time than now for your next box. Hopefully some of this stuff can have a place in your game room. Dig in and enjoy V-Goat style. Your friend Zach. You know I love Zach. I enjoy everything you sent me. Oh, we got, we're going to start out with some Star Wars characters here. We got we got a naked version of C3PO before uh, before he got all of his awesome gold armor. Sweet. Always loved the Star Wars. And we got I don't think this is a battle droid. I'm not too familiar with the first three episodes. Um Service Droid? Is it a droid? Is it from the first two? First or the episode one, maybe two, three. I don't know. This is gonna be a long video, guys. Just to let you know. <laughs> and of course, we got an Ewok. My very first Ewok. Never had an Ewok before, so that's exciting because I mean these guys are awesome. I've been there's this Ewok playset at, at the the local old school game or er, toy store, but 
do wants way too much for her. I can't afford that shit. But someday I will have one. And we got a Spider-Man figure. My my very first Spider-Man figure, actually. So we're... Oh, we're moving right along, aren't we? Oh, man. So much awesomeness for my game shelf. And we got... Is this Star Wars? I think this is Episode 1. This looks like one of them pod racer dudes. He's uh, He's got a bunch of arms and stuff, and he's really skinny. I'm pretty sure this is one of the pod racer guys from Episode 1. Which was probably my favorite part of episode one, honestly. Just because I like racing and cars and stuff. Oh, Zach. Hit me up with a, with another rubber ducky. This one's got some pretty sweet stars on it. I've got a pretty nice rubber ducky collection going now. Not even joking. There's like four that shower with me on a daily basis. And this, this little blue one here makes five. So, look out <laughs> for that. And... Boom! We got a Donkey Kong Mario Kart 8 toy. And... Ooh! Oh, that's nifty. <laughs> we got a bomb on and those little key spins. Dude, I got all kinds of fun stuff. To, uh, so much decoration. And there appears to be a shirt. And the tag says Star Wars. And it's Lego Star Wars. Oh, that's awesome. I can't, dude, my daughter's totally gonna rock this in like a year when she's big enough. Or maybe she'll just wear it as a nighty. Cause, <laughs> Oh, Zach, you know me so well. With the Legos and the Star Wars and the sexiness. Ah. Uh, I might even try to wear it. Stretch it out. And, boom, we got a, we got a Yoshi McDonald's Mario Kart 8 toy. And, oh, what? We got a we got a job of the hut. I don't I don't have a job of the hut figure. I have a Lego job of the hut figure, but but this is just more Star Wars awesomeness here. And that was a car door. That might be the no. She might interrupt our video. So you may get uh, you guys may get a guest appearance. And there's an R two D two of sorts. He looks like he might be a canister. For holding things? I don't... Oh, yeah, he opens up. Oh, that's that's crafty, see? He's got his, he's got something he can hide on the inside. It probably used to be candy. But if I ever get more pot, I know where I'm storing it now. I mean, not drugs. Because it's bad, right? Yeah. And continuing in the tradition of the Sega Genesis... Sports Fantastic. We've got... Jesus, what all is in here? We've got a copy of EA Sports Madden 94. And this could be more than complete? I'm not even sure. There are... There is a lot of paperwork in here. I know that some of these old EA Genesis games have a lot of paperwork, but Jesus, like... Like, that's... Like, that's a lot of paperwork. I think that is all. Like, they got team rosters and... Like, player ratings? Jesus. And posters and plays? NFC, AFC? Or... Oh, Jesus. Wow, that's gonna... I'll have to go through that some other time. Like, it barely all even fits in here. They only give you so much room with these little prongy things. How did they get all these crazy little Japanese children in? Ah, boom! That's awesome. <laughs> For those of you who don't understand the, the Genesis sports games, you'll have to go back and possibly look at some some of the older videos and you'll understand everything. <laughs> We got, boom, Sonic Spinball. That's, ah, oh. Man, I've been looking for this one for a long time, actually. Because I always loved pinball growing up. And never had a Genesis, but we had these, uh... My parents had these friends, uh, adult friends. They didn't have any kids or anything, but they owned a Genesis, and Sonic Spinball was one of the games that they had. So when we went over to their house, our parents would hang out with the adults, and then... They would let us play your gen their Genesis, and we'd always play Sonic Spinball. So, 
that's going to bring back a lot of awesome memories of me and my brother. And, oh, my screensaver one. Let me make sure we're still, we're still filming here. Because I don't want to, uh, okay, yeah, we're good. All right, we're golden. And on to more awesomeness, we got Hitman Blood Money, PS2. Honestly, never played any of the Hitman games. You think that this would be something I would be into? Just haven't found any yet, at least not for the prices that I can afford. I mean, obviously I could go to the retro game store and spend $7.99. But, uh, I love the noir action style games, and if I'm not mistaken, Hitman's probably fairly noir-ish. <laughs> so, we're gonna... Oh, we got, we got some awesomeness to get down on here. And boom! Ultimate Battle for Justice and the Ultimate Villain Showdown featuring Green, o Green Goblin, Kingpin, and Dr. Octopus. We got some Spider-Man comic book VHS tapes. Spider-Man versus the Ultimate Villain Showdown. Three awesome villains. And then Daredevil versus Spider-Man. Hero on hero action giggity. That's fantastic. Ah. I collect VHS tapes. It's one of many, many things I collect. And I like it because it brings you back to, uh... No way. Is that... Is that the same as... Oh, this makes me wonder. Alright, so, uh... Story. Little League Baseball for a regular Nintendo. Um, there's a there's a checkered history with me and Zach and this game because it's my favorite game and I I gifted him my my personal copy because his first mystery box blew me away so much and I didn't have much to offer so I wanted to give him something that meant a lot to me and I and a game that I just thoroughly loved because this game the original one I played a lot it was it was a big part of my life growing up. Um, Little League Baseball was probably one of the games I played the most on regular Nintendo. And this is Little League World Series Baseball 2008, and I'm wondering if there's any connection, because I didn't know that they made this, and I'm curious, and there's going to be a lot of research later, and I'm talking, and I'm taking up all your time, because we're already at 12 and a half minutes, and we're probably halfway through the box, and there's another one coming. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption for Wii. I don't have any Metroid games for Wii, so now I have something to try. I've got... I got, uh, Metroid Prime for GameCube, and I played it a little bit, and I wasn't horribly impressed. I think I got sidetracked with a different game after that. I think it was Skyward Sword, so I played that on Wii. And that took up a lot of my time, but, uh... Metroid is a fantastic series. One of my favorite games for NES as well. And ooh! That's X-Men Legends 2, Rise of the Apocalypse. Anything comic book. It's that's what I is about. Because comic books are awesome. Thank you. And ooh. Did you get two of these? Did you How did you come across two of these? Now all I need is a manual and a big box, so I'll have a complete deluxe set. So I'm in the Magna Carta Tears of Blood art book and strategy guide from Atlas. And as everybody here knows, I'm an Atlas whore. I will do dirty, dirty things to your private parts for Atlas. And that's sick. What? Are these little shot glasses? I think they're little shot glasses. <laughs> we got little Star Wars shot glasses. Let's see if we can see them all. We got Vader. We got a clone trooper. We got General Grievous. And then we got the Jedi. And that is... Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop trying to like open everything. Otherwise, this is going to be the longest video in history. <laughs> I'll have to look at everything later. Alright, we got... Pokemon Advanced Pokemon in Disguise. Learn to read with Pokemon. Dude. Dude. That's... That's gonna start my daughter out properly. That's what that's gonna do. Ah, that's just good stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 
this. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up again in all the awesomeness. Alright, we got a few more games here. Let's see, we got... Oh, dude, I needed this. Thank you. NHL 2K. Because I got NBA 2K1 and I got uh, the, the NFL 2K1. But I didn't have NHL 2K1. And hockey games are freaking awesome. And I'm totally going to watch this probably later <laughs> this is hockey and let's see four wheel thunder for dreamcast what is this dude oh uh, is this an off-road game oh like did like oh. four classes of rugged off-road vehicles watch their fly at blistering 60 frames per second <laughs> so many frames <laughs> Oh, what? 24 tracks, shark cuts, two player scripts, scripts, that, blah, 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 blah. A VMU compatible? What? I wonder what kind of awesome mini game this has for the VMU. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Oh. Zach knows how to hit me where, where the sex is. <laughs> We're gonna have to go toast some fucking Cruella de Vil with some 102 Dalmatians. <laughs> oh, starring Frankie Muniz as the voice of Domino. Oh, you can't see it because my camera's not that good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Those of you who don't know Frankie Muniz, uh, dude, not in the middle. Come on now, get with it. All right, what do we got? Got oh, some pretty. Dude, Top Gun, yes. Another game from my childhood that I haven't been able to find. And this game is fucking hard. I put hours, days, weeks, months into into beating this game. And then I beat it once and I was just so burned out by that time. <laughs> oh, this game just disappeared into the annals of history. And now I get to do it all over again. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. And we got Side Pocket from Day to East. We got a pool game. I wonder if that's two player. That'd be an awesome two player. Dude, this, this would be a fantastic drinking game right here. <laughs> and we got Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. And somebody mentioned this. It might have actually been Zach, but I'm not sure. He's endorsed by the US National Video Game Team. That's you're probably not gonna be able to see it because my camera sucks, but it's what's in that little little red writing inside that. The yellow splash marker. I don't know. Is there fighting in here? We we'll have to play to find out. Cause if you get to beat up your your fellow golfers, I mean, freaking price is wrong, bitch. Come on, guys. Who doesn't want to do that? And we got something in here. It's another box inside of a box. It's extremely lightweight. Feels like it's packaged really well. So we're going to. Oh, I don't have to cut into it. It's just a little flappy thing. I'm pretty be careful here, because I don't want to... I don't know what is in. And... Okay, I don't think we're going to break it. We're safe. What do we got here? We got... Star Wars Clone Wars. Nadar Veb? He, uh... Is this some kind of, like, a mail-away? Does it fit in here pretty perfectly? Yeah, and it's got his name on it. And... Does this look kind of like... I am confused. To display figure in 3D package, remove tape from sides of card, tear card along perforated line, carefully remove... Package opens into 3D display. So if this is some kind of crazy awesome mail already, they want you to cut the top off of it and fold it up? That seems really like a bad idea. Ah. <laughs> uh. I need to watch more of these Clone Wars series, because I started watching it on Netflix, and the first three episodes were awesome, and then I got caught up moving, and now I don't have internet here, because I don't have any neighbors to steal it from, so I haven't have yet to watch Clone Wars, and dude, awesome. Thank you for my very first Clone Wars action figure. Dude, there's a lot of, there's a lot of firsts in here. That is freaking, ah. Uh, so, a big shout out and a round of applause for Zachary for 
for my fantastic birthday birthday box. And that brings us to part two, and only 20 minutes in, so we're uh, we're theoretically halfway done. Now I did notice that someone's box said open this end over here. Oh, screen saver again. So we're gonna start with that. Someone did a good job of throwing me off the scent as well. For those of you who weren't tracking my rant about not being able to, uh, not being able to withhold the box of the opening. And uh, he's like, I just sent you. Oh, why am I cutting towards myself? That is horribly dangerous. Bad Justin. Well, so much for sharpening my blade. I'm sure that probably just about killed it. But it's okay. The things we do for box. Alright, let's take a look here. And of course we got a note. <laughs> Happy birthday, Justin! Surprise! Um, men, men, Sashi, toi, birthday, what? Men, men, Sashi? Toi, men. Oh, what that means. Men, men, Sashi, toi, birthday, mystery box! Included some toys for your daughter and your very own Justin RLQ action figure. Wait, what? Dude, you can make those? Is it a, is it a twerking figure? Is it? Uh, okay, I gotta finish reading this. At least I think it looks a bit like you. You'll need to paint the beard, so some simile is required. I was gonna keep it, but then everyone would ask me who that figure is, and when I say it's just an RLQ action figure one of one, they'd respond, what the fuck is that? Then I'd have to go to this long, drawn-out story, blah, blah, blah. So here we are. Anyways, hope you have a great birthday. Enjoy Selwyn, the guy behind the guy. Behind the guy. Alright, so apparently there's a... There's a chubby bearded twerking action figure in here. And appears to be a poster of some kind right here. Ooh. Gears of War Judgment? What is this? Exclusive limited edition art print inside. Oh, and of course this is uh This is the one that uh that got damaged. Those fuckers. Well, I'm going to open this up, because I don't care if it devalues it, because I'm never getting rid of it. It's going up in my man cave. I have to be careful that I don't uh, damage it more than the post office already has. Oh, that's not too bad. Once I get that in a frame, nobody will even be able to notice. It's just right down here. It's barely a little tear. But yeah, that is a pretty sweet little... That's a pretty sweet little picture there. I never played much Gears of War, mostly because I just never had the time for it. I played Gears of War 2 for, for a while. But then I start playing other games because, you know, ADD and yada yada. And when your Xbox has, uh... uh you have uh, Xbox and Xbox to play burn games, you just have so many choices that you usually end up getting in trouble, just bouncing around and... Yeah, anyway. Let's get into it before I take up even more of your time, because it's been four minutes since I said 20 minutes, it took me that long just to get the box open. <laughs> we got... is that...? No, that's... That's awesome. <laughs> We got a sealed Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock on VHS. Another piece of awesome for my sealed collection. Oh, I think Zach gave me a sealed Star Trek as well. So I may be, uh, I may be too deep into a, a sealed Star Trek movie VHS collection here. <laughs> now let's see, we got a game, we got Need for Speed Underground. Dude, I think everybody played the hell out of this. This is just... This is the racing game that you played in, in, like what, 2000? 2001? 2003? That's what you played when you were, when you were growing up, man. 
Oh, that's a that's a lot of memories right there. <laughs> and hey, lucky there. Got Gears of War too. We were just talking about this. This is this is uh, Selwyn's way of telling me to. So, there we go. This is Selwyn's way of telling me to go out and get a 360, so we can play online together. And that's awesome. I didn't. Uh, I don't know if you knew this or not, but I recently put up a. A bunch of games for sale to make up some bills, and while I didn't want to sell them, I sold out some of the ones that I either hadn't played or just didn't think I'd have the time to play, even if I wanted to keep them all. And uh, this was one of the ones that, that I sold, and now I have it back, and dude, that's awesome, because I was looking at this as I was boxing it up and, and sending it out, and I was like, geez, I never even got to play it. I've, I was kind of sad about it, but at the same time, well, yeah. money that happened, everybody's been there. And the good news is, I, I got all the money I needed, I'm finally caught up on my loan account again, so I'm not behind. I mean, I'm still, like, $4,200 in debt, but I'm not behind on that $4,200, and that, kids, is the important part. Alrighty, and we got, I don't know what this is. It, it's not food, but it's in paper towel, and oh my gosh, <laughs> I think this is the action figure <laughs> that he was referring to. <laughs> yeah, if I had a green and white striped beanie, I mean, that, that could very easily be uh, a Justin action figure. <laughs> but I see what you mean about how it's, it's a brown beard instead of a red beard. But you know what? I mean, it, it's pretty darn close. And with a little bit of dry brushing, just a little bit of orange and some dry brush technique, yeah, that'll be fucking spot on. <laughs> I'm going to have to go out and get one of these sleeveless shirts now, I hope you know. With little skull and crossbones on it, or just get one with sleeves and turn the sleeves off. And I'll see if I can find that beanie. And I'll see if I can get you a picture. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll be on the lookout now. And we got a sparkly Rubik's Cube. You know, I have never. <coughs> <coughs> Too much giggles. I've never been able to complete one of these things. I don't get them. I don't understand it. I really don't. Like, I've spent countless hours just spinning and twirling, and the only way I ever beat it is by taking the stickers off. And, uh, <laughs> beating it that way, but that's cheating. I just wanted to feel smart. But now I can try again. I can start where I left off. And what is this? Real View V screen for PSPs. This is a stunning depth enhancement. What is this? PSP games and videos. Microfiber cleaning cloth. V screen, silicone insert. Flip up, stick in, screen over. So, is it like one of those? There it is. Unique optical technology was first developed for medical world to enhance depth cues hidden in existing images. Deeper dimension to PSP. So does it make it like 3D? I'm confused. But we're going to have to find out. Because that would be awesome with a racing game or something. Dude, thank you for broadening my horizons and introducing me to something that I never even knew existed. I don't know what this is. This is awesome, that's what. Let's see what else we got in here. We got some baby baby toys. This will be for my daughter. She loves her little stuffed animals. She's got 
bunch of Beanie Babies. She's always carrying around. That's her deal. She loves stuffed animals, especially Papus and Tees, which is puppies and kitties. And we got another one. Another Thai Beanie Baby. Uh, happy is his name. And he comes from a Happy Meal. That's a little button mouth or hand and ear or whatever they call it. And then we got Rocket the Blue Jay. My screensaver keeps going off. Alright, what we got here? We got Gauntlet Legends, Limited Edition, Miniature. I don't think that's the miniature. There's a pendant in here, though. I don't think that's a. Is it a Gauntlet Legends pendant? Maybe? Let's see here. Yeah, that's Gauntlet Legends pendant. Oh, got some kind of glue on me. Alright, let's put that back until I can cleanse it. So we got a pretty sweet Gauntlet Legends pendant here. That's... I mean, I, I had... I had Gauntlet Legends for N64. I had it all complete in box, and... I traded it, and I kind of felt sad. Because I wanted to play it more than I did, but... Gauntlet Legends is one of those games that's really awesome with, like, four people. Which... I rarely have four people at my house. Hell, I rarely have, uh... One person at my house, but that's besides the point. Let's see what we got here. We got ooh. Wait, NBC did Constantine. We got a freaking we got a sick Constantine comics poster. It says NBC on it. So I don't know. Is that a series? Am I missing something? Did I? Did that just like blow right by me or something? Cause yeah, when the freaking Keanu Reeves movie came out, I was excited. Cause I was like, dude, Hellblazer, Constantine, yes. But no. It wasn't like that at all. It wasn't anything like the frickin' comics version. But this says from DC Comics right on it, so I would assume that this is just a bunch of awesomeness. And I need to do some research now. Man, you're showing me all kinds of stuff I never knew about selling. Let's see what we got here. We got a giant bathroom reader. Dip into compendium of useless knowledge, hilarious facts, and bizarre trivia. Dude, that's, that's me all over. <laughs> That's crazy. The average amount of feces defecated by a human during a 70 year lifespan is 2.6 tons. That's that's 5,000 pounds of poop. Dude. <laughs> oh, my, my co-workers are gonna hate you. But I love you for it, because I want to make people all kinds of awkward with my <laughs> crazy random knowledge. What? Ah, oh, Eric Johnson's gonna hate me. We got a Zelda Link Between Worlds 3D display. Sha sha sha. Sha 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 sha. He disappears and then he's there. He disappears and he's there. It's gone. But there he is. And he's gone. And there he is. This thing's still entertaining, I'm sorry. But dude, that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> Eric John's gonna hate me. He's a buggy son of a bitch. And what do we got here? Is this what I think it is? Oh my god. If you're our age, then you grew up with this. You know all about it. And that is the Animaniacs. And on the side here, it says alarm clock, which I could use, because I don't have. I mean, technically, I have an alarm clock on my phone, but. My brain has learned how to shut it off in my sleep without me actually waking up. Oh, dude, that looks awesome, too. I was just thinking, like, you know, regular round alarm clock. You know, it's just regular round alarm clock, you know? But, dude, this is some, like, straight up freaking. That's some straight up 50s awesomeness right there. Check that shit out. Dude, is this a wind up one? How does this thing work?
Oh, I'll have to figure that out later. Anyway, that's, uh... So, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up again. I'm taking up all your time. I'm just so excited. All right. That concludes the very first two-part birthday box mystery box theater from B2B B Goat. This to buy its video gamers of all types. This is the beard sitting atop the man cave, which is right down there. And we will see you tomorrow. Or maybe just later tonight. Or maybe not at all. Nobody knows. It's just getting crazy. Later.